welcome to my channel my name is Marilyn and today I'm gonna be doing this warm toned eye I know like I I'm not the type of person to do a lot of like warm toned like orange eyeshadow looks but I wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and I feel like I pulled out a few tricks to kind of make it more wearable for myself uh, with glitter and using some uh, more blue tones in, like my inner corner so yeah if you would like to see me try something different for myself and uh, show you the techniques that I use to create this look, then just keep on watching. To start off this look, I'm going to be taking the Morphe Eyelid Primer, and I'm just going to be working this into the eyelid until it's nice and tacky. With the Makeup Shack T56, I'm going to be taking our transition color, and this one is called Worm. It's from the Orb of Light palette. We're going to be coming back to this shade a lot, so you want to keep this brush and color handy. Now with the pale shade, I'm going to be taking this under the eyebrow to clean up the blending. With the blending brush, I'm going to be taking an orange shade. This one is named Harvest. With that same brush, now I'm picking up some red, and I'm going to be placing that lower than the orange into the socket of the eye to really define my shape. Now I'm going back in with the same transition shade to really make this look really blended out. To neaten up this look, I'm just taking that same crease brush that we used to really define the placement. To cut the crease, I'm going to be using this BH Studio Pro Concealer and the T37 from Makeup Shack. And I'm just going to be using stamping and sweeping motions to make the brush do the work for me. And I'm just blending the edges out with my finger. To set the lid, I'm just going to be taking this V18 Shadow Brush from BH Cosmetics and the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. This is the first shade, it's called Sands of Time, and I'm just going to be placing that on the inner corners of the eye. Now I'm going to be adding this gold color on the center of the lid, and it's called Gold Getter. For the outer third, I'm taking this metallic orange shade, and it's called Blazing Hot. To tie together the crease with these shimmer shades, I'm going to be adding the shade Red Between the Lines. Now with the small detailing brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Blood again, and I'm using this to redefine the crease that we created so that the lines are super sharp. And then I'm just taking whatever is left over on the brush and blending up that shade. And to finish it off, I'm just giving it all one last blend with that transition color. For the glitter base, I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer and the Lit Glitter in Champagne Wishes. And I'm just adding this to my lid with my finger, just so that it comes out a little more spread out. I don't want to pack it on too hard. To finish off this eye, I'm taking that same detail brush from before and the red blood shade, and I'm working that into the bottom lash line. I take my shadow pretty far down under my eye, so to help blend that out, I'm taking the transition shade one last time. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and for my eyelashes, I'm using the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara, and I'm just going to add these real quick off camera. For lashes, I use the TL Mitchell Tati Lashes and Duo Lash Adhesive. So this is my wing all completed and my mascara, and I already let the eyelash adhesive dry for a little bit just so that they stick right on. I just love how glitter looks when it's like out of focus, this is so cute. I'm just taking that same defining brush from before with some black eyeshadow 
and I'm adding that to the bottom lash line to tie together that wing liner with my bottom lash line. To finish off the bottom lash line, I'm taking that crease brush from before and adding back in whatever's left over of the red. It's just going to help tie together the whole look. So I don't know if you can tell, but in this glitter it has some like blue-green reflect. So I'm taking the Alchemist palette and then these top three shades and I'm adding it to the inner corner to really bring that out. So I recently picked up the Sugar Pill Liquid Lipstick in Trinket and I think it will be perfect for this look because it's still kind of warm toned uh, and it has like gold glitter in it. So I feel like that still makes it like a little more bearable for me to wear this warm toned look. So I'm going to be adding this. And like I love that it smells like orange creamsicle, like that smell to me is just like so happy. <laughs> so like as you like press your lips together, it like reveals a little more glitter. So I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna take like the lid of my lip glitter that I used on my eyes and kind of press a little more on the center. Like you can see the gold ones coming out over here. So this is the makeup all completed. I'm so actually like kind of convinced that I could wear this out. I don't normally go for like warm toned makeup except if it's red. Like that's, I only wear red eyeshadow. So this is kind of different for me, for me to step out of that like comfort zone. And I really feel with like the pops of like blue and glitter really will help me actually want to experiment, I guess, with more uh, warm tones. Thanks so much for checking out my tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And then if you want to see more close-ups of this makeup, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. And I have my Twitter too. They're both the same, at Marilyn Mugbeat. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!